Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is me, God Game, back in another video today. I'm playing some Terror Tech. Uh, this is a random seed, and to show it is random, I'll just randomize it. And play. This is a game called Terror Tech. Basically, you build your tech or your uh, vehicle, and you, you shoot things. So, uh, I did not skip the tutorial, even though I've played through the tutorial before. I did not skip it, so you guys can see. Um, so this is my cab. This is, this needs to stay alive at all cost. If you lose this, the, your entire tech dies. That's basically where you are. Alright. So... Here's a block, you know, you build a block, you put a block on there. As you can notice, my cab is all red, and it looks like it's damaged. There is a way to heal that later into the tutorial that we're going to do. Because, I mean, we don't want to spend the entire game taking damage, or being damaged. All right. Now, I can drive around, I can shoot my weapons, and something's landing nearby. You see that's his cab? I didn't even have to shoot it. If it's that low, it'll eventually blow up. Uh, one thing that I definitely gotta be careful of is is that I don't want to like break the other enemy's parts off uh because when I kill them sometimes their guns and stuff will drop but if I shot their guns too much then the guns break so uh oh and that's a uh, back wheel mm. okay so First, we gotta, where is the mission thing? There it goes, the mission log. Okay, so my uh, solar generator is over that way and we can find something to repair my damaged cab. So, um, I'm gonna drive over to here. Another enemy. Uh, really just drills in a light so i guess i could take the light if i don't break it first and that wheel all right those wheels i thought one of the wheels actually got killed thank god it didn't because now we don't have to deal with ocd so there's my solar generator uh we're gonna drive over to it and uh, there's another fight that's about to have to happen. Uh, solar generator is anchored and generating power. And the repair bubble can be powered by the solar generator. You're going to see how this can get more powerful in a minute. Like, right now, I would have to, like, attach it to my back and redeploy it. There's another thing you can do. You can attach it in a way that makes your entire tech capable of anchoring. And now you can anchor. That's definitely more powerful, but there's even more. We gotta find our radar and our battery. The battery is very powerful. But first, I'm gonna take out this guy and probably do the uh, radar. So as you can see in the bottom right corner, I can see the direction of where the enemy is through that, but I can't really see much more than that. Um, that's an extra gun. Did I kill the gun? Nope, it's right here, okay. Something to notice, the guns do rotate, but that gun right there, it can't shoot since it's being blocked by something. 
when it rotates, it's no longer blocked. All right, now I think we're gonna throw this block right like that. And like this. Uh, do that, all right. And probably move these back to give more balance to the weight. We're going to be approaching the enemy. Uh, spoiler alert, the enemy has our radar. Okay, so we're approaching the enemy. As you can see on top of him, you can barely see it. He has something on top of him. That is the radar. That's what we're after. So Little Thief stole our radar. Trying to be careful to only shoot his cab. All right, so the radar went flying, but now look in the bottom right corner and you can see the tiny little mini map grows rather larger now. Things will get a lot more difficult than how it is right now. Uh, you know what? Uh, this could probably go for a little bit longer. I could probably, oh wait, my drill. I know there's an enemy to my right I almost said left for some reason. We're not going to fight him. We're gonna go get our battery, which may or may not be stuck in a tree. Uh, and we may or may not have a drill on in front of us to help us get it. All we have to do, dig through that. Now we have, we have our battery which we're going to place there. And it automatically filled it just for the purpose of making it really easy. And they're sending a little care package. So now we're back at the crash site where we all started. And the crate is coming in. This is a lot of things that are useful. Oh, there is also a ram here. Uh, I usually use it as armor, even though, I mean, it's, it's strong, but like it's not as strong as the actual armor you can get in this game. There's actual armor plates. I'm gonna throw these front wheels on. Uh, probably just, yeah. So it's unfortunate that we have to carry two shield bubbles or two health bubbles. The, the inventory is something you'll unlock later into the game, like a little bit later. But as of right now, we don't have an inventory. So everything has to either be on the ground or attached to our tech. And on the ground is not a very safe place for your valuable items. And remember, hit the like button if you wanna turn this into like a really big series. Cause I think this is gonna be a cool series. Hit the like button and you know, subscribe. More people get to see it, more people hit the like button. There's more influence of, to make more series. Yeah, hit the like button. Also we have two radars again. That's less unfortunate because radars don't consume power, but sometimes you just don't wanna carry two things onto your tech if you don't need those two things. Uh, these wheels i'm not gonna worry about those this gun however these guns particularly are they're okay so i'm gonna actually throw this like that so it would rotate to shoot in almost any angle and now we're gonna find a gso trading station this is where things get interesting you see around the bottom of our screen how there's a big yellow sign that has a circle around it and it says bb with lines through to the B, that means block bucks. And those are the currency in the game. Currently I have 5,424. And also next to that, you can see what control scheme I'm using. I'm using car. I can also use airplane. If I switch it to airplane, then it's using airplane controls. But my airplane controls can't use the wheels like it doesn't have any like wheel acceleration thing. There's like lift and there's thrusters and stuff. 
You can get into that. We, we can get into that later into the game. There are a few ways to get block box. Leveling up your license, I'm pretty sure gives you some. I think killing enemies, uh, definitely selling resources gives you block box. Here's a trading station. And you're gonna see the, the mission log get a lot more usage now that we have a trading station. Uh, I'm gonna back out of that fight for a minute. And something big is heading my way, I gotta defend. First, let me just kill. Okay. Anchor, and we're gonna put our guns on. That is an anchored tech. So you can actually build like defensive turrets and you can get like smart AI systems in this game. So, you know, you can have your own AI. These aren't real players I'm going against, by the way. You can go against real players and a couple of other game modes. This is the uh, campaign game mode. Uh, I killed something. Yeah, the tech is still anchored, but its AI module is now completely removed. I have to shoot that very bottom thing, connecting it to the ground, and usually this also results in destroying the batteries. Yep, you can already see it's aiming at the batteries, which is not something I want to do. It's gonna break the batteries. Yep, that's what I was talking about with the exploding batteries. All right, wow, and the health thing exploded, well. New license upgrade. I have a level two license, if you look in the top left corner now. I have level two license, uh, and I got a couple new blocks as well. It sends a care package. Uh, that weird wheel right here, it's different from the other wheels, and I don't know how it's supposed to be used. Uh, I think it, it's supposed to, oh, wait. Oh, I just learned that how this is supposed to work, like that. So that's a cool wheel. I'm actually gonna keep that on me. I just figured that out. The enemies, as you can see down here, they will fight each other. Uh, all right. So we're gonna take that mission. And we want to get the uh, collector. Oh, I just did the wrong thing. All right. <clears throat> so now we can buy that. And we want to throw this onto our tech somewhere. What this does, as you can see, it picked up any loose resource chunks, as it says in the bottom. Go harvest. All right, so the mission is that we gotta earn a hundred block bucks by selling uh, by selling these resources. As you can see, our GSO license is level two. There are other licenses you can get as well. Matter of fact, there are five total. There's GSO is the first one. The next one is um, GeoCorp, which is basically, like GSO is an all around. It's good for like all around stats, they're decent stats. But if you want a harvesting tech, you're definitely gonna want Geocorp if you want a tech specifically for harvesting. If you want a movement tech, like a really fast car or even an airplane, or even a hovercraft sometimes, although there's different ways to get hovercrafts that are better. Um, but Venture is for like really fast vehicles and airplanes and stuff uh hawkeye is like a military grade really strong and heavy slow but strong and heavy like uh block set pretty much and better future is expensive and like futuristic stuff uh by the way speaking of all the corporations we get a new license for the big yellow we get we get a Geocorp license. It says find the Geocorp mining tech in the objectives right there. So 
We're gonna accept all these missions. Ooh, and find Crafty Mike. This is definitely a good mission. Hit the like button for uh, for more of the series. But I think this is gonna be our last mission for today. So uh, we're gonna travel over. There's probably gonna be a couple fights. Trying to avoid them because this tech is not practical for fighting. So you can see there's one of them over there that's a turret that's fighting the other turrets. And that one is supposed to be on my team because it it's a quote unquote glitched turret, AKA a turret that was made by the game. So it's just a friendly turret for me. But as you can see, he has a blue bubble around him. I kind of want to save that guy's, uh, we saved the battery. And yes, I think that is, yep. You can tell because it's blue. It looks like the turret's waiting for some new orders. Try ordering it to guard the station. All right. So we're gonna put guard slash follow and update and order update area clear activating SCU. That's this thing. It's a black hole. Now you can see all the items are being sucked in. And now it's in my inventory. So if I press square, which is the PS4 one, it's probably like E or something and PC up. Uh, oop. There's something stuck. Yep, it's trying to go into the inventory. There it goes. All right, press square. This is my inventory. Take blocks out anytime. Very helpful when rebuilding. Just wanted to show what my uh this isn't creative this is not the campaign world we were just on so my dog's gonna bark because he's in my room but this is just a creative save there is creative mode in this you basically have infinite of everything uh this is something i built in creative um i have it saved so anytime i can load it even in campaign if i have the blocks with me to build it so this is what's capable of it might not seem too crazy because you gotta aim it it looks like but if you see up there you also it would seem like something you gotta get close for uh, that guy just got demolished and all the enemies are on hard mode right now these are some of the most difficult enemies in the game this is one of my other techs that I have. Um, that's the wrong thing. Tech loader. Uh, this tech right here, it's not, I, I didn't build this. Someone else built it and I found it playing creative, just testing out my uh, airplane and stuff. So I decided to go to the tech manager. Uh, I set it to my team so I could capture it. Um, hover destruction. Very expensive tech. Uh, this is actually facing forward right now. This thing shoots a lot. Uh, one thing is, it actually does... Did I even put like... I don't even know if I put batteries on this thing and stuff. There's, there's like uh, gyros to keep them like not tipped over really expensive tech and easy to break kind of I don't recommend doing this unless you just want to mess around and creative but this was built by me um, <clears throat> this is also built by me um, a lot of my techs like this one in the airplane are just 
the creative starter text, but I modified them. So, now they're like technically built by me, but I wouldn't consider it 100% my work because, you know, other people had to do with it too, like the TerraTech developers. Uh, I'm surprised I'm actually still not dead. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. This is a good tech as long as you're not on the ground and you're really good at flying helicopters. I personally, I am terrible with helicopters. Uh, this is the Venture Strike Unit. That's the one I already showed you. This is the Hawkeye Booty Clap. Probably shouldn't have did this in the middle of the air. Uh, it's okay, if I press circle, I can like Minecraft MLG water save this. Yup. Uh, this is a weirder tech. However, I also have a uh, charging station. I'm gonna place two of those. What those do is they use solar generators. Their batteries build up a whole lot. Oh, I just turned myself into a, into a charging station. This is the Hawkeye Booty Clapper. This is a very expensive, um, very rewarding tech. No, um, what's it called? There's no radar, that's what I was thinking. No radar on this one, however. And sometimes radars are very necessary, so you know, I might load this in campaign if I get all the blocks. Uh, that's gonna be episode one million. But if I do happen to load this, uh, I'm probably gonna throw a radar on top. There's a couple places for a radar, such as if we think about you know, we could possibly throw a radar literally right there. A Hawkeye radar even. It has miniguns pointing up. I didn't, at the time I built this, I didn't know minigame, miniguns could rotate. Um, so the miniguns were supposed to just be for air support. Along with these mortars would be good air support, but this isn't really a good ground to air tech. It's more ground to ground. I mean, Hovercrafts are still pretty vulnerable because like doing something like that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't very good at balancing, but there's a gyroscope somewhere. There's only an active gyroscope. Active gyroscopes, basically what they do is after you fall, they help you get back up. Uh, my other techs have passive on them as well. Some of my other techs. Passive will stop them from falling in the first place. Sometimes, if you're fighting like a hovercraft, you wanna use falling to your advantage. Like, let's say the tech is higher up. And also, I drop missiles out of my back. They just fall right out of those little cases. I have defense pretty much all around. I have missile pods and cruise missiles. But, your main your main gunpoint is obviously the front. Like you see, took a while to get them damaged at all from the back, and that's immediately just shredding him. So it's a little bonus clip. So see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more of the TerraTech series. I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye.